Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here, and it's time for this week in Candy Toys. And uh, we have some Gachard stuff, which threw me off guard because I did not expect what we're getting. But also, because I'm wearing the shirt, the Jetman shirt from K20 Customs. Uh, go get it. It's it's comfortable and it's amazing. It actually says Jetto, Jetto, Jetman on the back. Uh, we actually got our next, uh, was it Super Shoto announcement as well? Or Shoto Super. So, before I get into the Gachard stuff, we have to go over the Super Sentai. Because the, the Shoto Super line has been, like, really intriguing to me. I've talked about it as they've been being announced and released. Uh, as I'm getting more into, like, the mini plaz and the SMPs, um, the Super Sentai side of Candy Toy has really been appealing to me lately. Especially because of the delays we had with... Or not delays, but just the release schedule of the Geats Sotos. So, I don't want to waste any time. I want to jump right in and talk about these Jetman. Like, look at... Oh, even this photo, the quality, you could already tell. So, this is... The latest series to come out for Shoto Super. Pre-orders are available now. Go to your favorite who vendor to get that pre-order in. Uh, let's take a look. These look so, like, look at these. Look at the paint, like the paint quality. Like, man, if, the I always complained about, like, the, not the diversity, but the range between candy toys of Super Sentai, Ultraman, and Kamen Rider, how Kamen Rider has, you know, their whole Shoto line, their whole Soto line. Sometimes they get the GP stuff as well. They get the little mini roleplay candy toys. Uh, they get Converge Motions as well. Where And then Ultraman, they get the Converge lineup and Converge Motion. They get their, their Alpha line. And uh, depending on the gimmick, uh, you know, sometimes it'd be candy toys for the gimmicks. Sentai would get literally Yudos, Mini Pla, and the candy toy versions of their gimmicks, if there are one, like the the Sentai Gears. And that's all they would get. But this Shoto Super line has been so good. And oh, look at this. We have Red Hawk right here. Look at the paint quality on this. Like, can we just, like, take a step back and just look at this? The quality of this. This is, this looks so good. I like this a lot. The yellow on that looks great. It's, it's nice. And we have Black Condor. Love this one. This is like my favorite suit out of all, modestly, because I like the black with the white and that yellow and the silver on the belt. Like, that looks really good. I like this one a lot. Then we have Yellow Owl. And then we have our White Swan, which, I mean, there's pink. I think, uh, I don't, I haven't finished that, man. <laughs> I like, actually, this looks really good, too, with the contrast of the yellow, gold, like, that is good contrast. And we have the blue. Oh, okay, I'm a sucker for that blue color, honestly. Especially, like, with the, well, I'd call them the Alien Ranger. I forgot what they are, uh, what they were in the Super Sentai stand, but, like, this style of blue, this, like, teal, ocean, blue type color is... Actually, it looks good with the gold. Actually, I think I like this one more than the black condor, honestly. Um, but obviously, there we go, the whole team right there. But we know for a fact that this isn't all we're going to get because the Shoto Super line, they hook you up. And we have the little attachments for the wings, which are really cool. I like that. That is, and obviously the blaster on the, the, the hip. But we also have our sword. Uh, is that a sticker on it? Because that's going to suck. Because I don't want to put stickers on things. Oh, they are stickers. Damn. They got me. I'd paint it silver, honestly. I have silver paint for Gunpla that I can put on it. Um, we also have the little gun blaster arm thing. That looks... Oh, and the side's open. Wait, yeah. Or is it... No, it's a second one that has the sides already open. All right. And we could see the different blaster. This looks really good. I... Uh, Ooh, the sticker. Oh, it's going to get me. They always get me. But then we have a cool bazooka thing. I'm a sucker. So what I plan on doing with all my Super Shotos or Shoto Supers when we get our house and everything else, I'm going to have them all displayed like this for all the different teams with like their combo attack if it is available for that set. I know some, not every 
season has something like this, or we don't even know how many seasons they're going to get showed out super lines, but I, this is how I'm going to have it displayed. Uh, but then we have the buggy. It transforms into the buggy, and that is the coolest part, honestly. Like, look at all these accessories. Let me scroll down so you can see, because where I have it set up on my camera, where I have it with this looks insane. Like, this is, well, so many hands. I like the way this looks, the, like, from a standpoint of how much stuff. That is a good amount of accessories, and this is why I like the Shoto Super line so much. Yeah, for current seasons that are now airing, when they're coming out, I'll get you those. Like, Don Brothers, I have to, like, finally got the rest of those i have all the king osher yudos built but like from a shoot a shoto super line this this is what i like about this i like this this is very appealing and then we see the team shot right there and then we see it posing with i don't think this is the mini but this is the smp yeah it's a super mini plastic version of the great icarus uh, i need to get this <laughs> i need that i need that mecca i like the way that looks Ah, uh, but these are the posing. Actually, I think this is going to be the thumbnail. This one right here, yeah. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Just so I can keep that for the thumbnail. So this will not be coming out until, uh, let's see. I saw it somewhere. Um, Hold on, sorry. I'm not going to edit this out. <laughs> I saw it. I swear. Let's see. I know it's next year. March. So this is coming out in March. And it's going to be 8,500 yen before taxes. So about $57, $58 before taxes and shipping and everything else. Um, but yeah, March and pre-orders... Start, I've started now, and I believe at the end it said pre-orders will end soon on the 18th. So make sure you get your pre-orders in if you want this. Make sure if you're on the fence, don't be on the fence. Just pre-order this. And then also while you're at it, to show your love for Jetman, go once again pick up K20 Customs Jetman shirt. It's really nice. Uh, so let's see next up. King Ogre stuff, and all right, I don't even know how to. I don't even have like a segue for this. Okay, we're getting inflatable toys for King. For or I said King Ogre Gachard. My apologies. Wow, as long as I have my King Ogre stuff right next to me. But yeah, here we go. Inflatable Gachard toys, and wow. So yeah, we're gonna get the Gachard driver. <laughs> um. And it's inflatable. <laughs> it has actually like a little hook attachment on the back. This is actually pretty cool. Not going to lie. Um, I wish they were bigger so I could use them as like a floaty. Like, a, like you imagine having this as like a full size, like six foot inflatable raft. And you could just go in the pool, land your guitar driver. Like that actually be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, you can see they're using a little pump to inflate. Obviously air pump is not included, by the way. Then we have the card holder. It's all right. I don't like the card holder. I mean, I have my mine right now that came with a driver. And this I don't. I don't really like this, honestly. <laughs> and then we have one of his sword weapons, which hasn't even shown up yet. Apparently, it's going to show up in today's for episode three. So spoilers: he gets a new weapon. Um, from a size standpoint, I believe this is. Is this the Soto? I don't think that's the Soto. I wonder if not. So 44 centimeters is big. And then we have the riser. Um, and a mask. We actually have the steam hopper mask. Okay, this is actually pretty freaking cool. Oh, man. You know what? That's How big is that? This actually might be the right size where I could actually inflate this in the pool. And like where that mouthpiece is right there, that can hold a can. I could put like a can of... Or a bottle of kombucha in there, the soda can or something, have it float on the pool next to me. That that could be, that could be cool. So that's all five. You can see a kid here posing with all of them. This is actually, <laughs> like obviously we know the demographic for these, but like I think that's just neat. And 
like kind of unorthodox for an item and then um they're still just showing again the premium bandai set which you know is still up for pre-order for the second wave for the premium bandai as well as a second part that is obviously geats oneness and our was it cross geats and that is it so quick, you know, kitty toy update. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my live stream on Saturday last week, I built Laser Boost Geats, and today, to end the stream, I finished up Gene. Came out really good. Uh, I just have to do Boost Mark Two, and then I will have my review up for that. Um, I have I had Geats eighty six on the way. I got some more guitar cards and some other stuff. So um, yeah, that's it for the answers. Are you excited for Jetman getting the Shoto Super treatment? Also, what do you think about the inflatable toys for Gachard? Because that's actually kind of, I think it's kind of cool, not going to lie. Um, but yeah, and also let me know any recent pickups you got, any new toys, any cool purchases. Let me know. I'm always curious to see what everyone else is picking up. That's it for the video. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.